Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Kevin. This is my shop. We got a good one for you today. Super Queen is sponsoring this video. God bless them. They're a good company. They support the motorized bike community and industry. They support a lot of industries. They sponsored two videos. This is the second video for me. And that's awesome. Out of the blue, they popped up and said, yeah, we're going to help clean up Mineralia. And I'm going to need something strong. There's no doubt about that. So we're good to go on that. Not only that, they're going to give away to one of y'all some products. So what's going to happen is throughout this video, some place in this video I'm going to pop up and say, go, not that, not them. But later on in the video, I'm going to say that, and I drop our email. Then you're going to go to the comments and write, give me that super clean. And I'm going to be watching. I don't want somebody going through the video. And not only that, it's probably going to be a premiere, so it's going to be done live. Not live, but I'll be watching. So there won't be any way to actually sneak in there. So the first one to put down, give me that super clean, wins whenever you see me say that. Okay? Don't do it before. I'll disqualify you. I'll disqualify the heck out of you. All right? Then, you will send me your name and address to my email, name and address, and uh, I'll give that to Super Clean. They're going to send you some products. Can't beat that. I've been real busy. Been working on the giveaway motor here. You're going to get car, ignition, covers, everything. Brand new clutch. Green pads, uh, the Vitron seals, everything. But that's not what this video is about. This video is about a Benarelli. I get stuff like this in here. I get this big behemoth of a thing called a Bluebird Lawn Aerator. It looks like it's from some horror movie. If this thing was to run over you, it would, it would not be good. But anyway, we're going to clean the expansion chamber out. And we're going to clean the engine out. We're going to tear the engine down and see just where all this aluminum went. Whether it went out the expansion chamber or went in the motor. I don't know. But we're going to find out. So stay tuned. Hit like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Give me a thumbs up, please. And uh, enjoy the video. clean the expansion chamber first. You can look down in there and you can see uh, aluminum particles all through there. And uh, don't really, I, my bore scope, I do have some video of that and it is in there pretty good. So we'll be super cleaning that out. We're not going to heat it up or anything. You, you literally would have to turn it red hot and that's never suggested. Now I'm going to clean the pipe up, do a little grinding on it, make it a little bit more prettier anyhow. But uh, we're fixing to super clean that out. Get that stuff out of there because of the reciprocating uh, effect of an expansion chamber pulling charge out then pushing charge back in. You have a potential for blowing this aluminum right back into your motor you just did. So it's always a good idea to clean it out. <clears throat> All right, and we're going to start taking this thing apart. This was an experimental cylinder and engine. This is a Vought uh, CDH YD100 bottom end. And never really did too much to it, but balance crank. 
slapped it together just to see if it's going to run with the Minarelli jug and it did do very well. So I'm kind of going to give it a little bit more love than I did before. So we're going to take this thing apart and we're going to have trouble bevel gear on the uh, other side. Now, cleaning bearings and stuff like that, there's a lot of controversy over using a ultrasonic cleaner. <clears throat> like if you want to put your crank in an ultrasonic cleaner to clean it up after something like this or at the price they're going to be, you, you can just buy a new crank. Got a lot of work in this crank. I'm going to clean it with super clean. That's the way to go. Just like the expansion chamber, super clean. That's the way to go. Put it in there, shake it up, rinse it out. And what I'll be doing there is I'll be rinsing out everything that comes out of it into a dish or a pan and uh, we'll see what actually does come out. So you're going to holler at me for what I'm fixing to do here, how I get that sprocket off there. I'm so sick of these little cheesy pullers that you get. Uh, and if anybody knows where I can buy a good one, which I don't think they exist, then please leave a link. But I'm going to figure out some other way. But what I do is that tool I have, that tool right there, I bump it a couple times and then the sprocket, you just tap it off of there, get the key off there, you tap the clutch basket and everything out. So we're going to take all this off and I am going to get to there's one, there's two. And there's three of them down there that I tried. None of them would fit in there. I've had this trouble with this thing, with those things, <clears throat> ever since I've been messing with these bikes. They're worthless. They are junk. Right there, all three of them. So I'm just heating this thing up a little bit, rotating it around to make sure the heat's uniform around the, the gear. And uh, I'm going to pry up on it a little bit, and I'm going to tap down on the... Uh, hold bolt what they call a wide flat top bolt and uh, just a couple taps and usually they pop off there it goes right there pop right off so uh, all this stuff and like I said I'm getting rid of that I'm <clears throat> In this video, I get rid of all of them, and I'm putting them on a screwdriver, and they're going in the trash right now. I am so sick of trying to use these things. And like I said, that tool I use to knock the uh, clutch basket out and knocks the sprocket loose on the back, I'm going to find out a better way to do this right here if I have to make it myself. So we're going to get this thing taken apart and we're going to see, <clears throat> excuse me, we're going to see if any of the metal actually made it down into the bottom of the engine because it looks like it blew through the piston down into the crankcase and everything. And so when we get this thing apart, we're going to see and oh my goodness, will you look at this right here? Yeah. That's where all that piston went. Not all of it, but some of it. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> so, I'm, I'm pretty sure they sum in that bearing. So, we're going to clean it out and look at it. But uh, I got a lot of money invested in that. Not a lot of money, but a lot of time invested in that uh, crank there. So, we're going to go from there. Get it all cleaned up. And we're going to get it super cleaned. And we're going to use Super Clean to do it. It's a good product. And uh, they were nice enough to uh, collaborate with me on another giveaway. And we're going to give it away. All right, so we're going to get started here with some Super Clean. And we've got, and it's biodegradable and everything else, unlike gasoline, kerosene, and diesel, and parasol and stuff like that. The. Uh, I've already got some in the pipe from a gallon jug I had because I do use it pretty regular. I pretty much clean all my parts with it. 
very good company. They are collaborating with me for the second time, which is pretty cool. So we're going to pour some in there and uh, go. Then we are going to tape it up and then we're going to shake it up. But before I do all of that, you need to get some gloves on because this stuff is alkaline and uh, it could possibly irritate your skin. Uh, it being a heavy base like that it, and a heavy degreaser, it could take some of the oil out of your skin. So <coughs> wear your PPE, personal protective equipment. So we got a good and shook up in there and uh, we need to get any kind of aluminum or metal particles that, you know, from the spark plug or the uh, piston out of there because whenever it heats up and it's reciprocating uh, properties of an of a expansion chamber, you have a good chance of uh, putting them right back in your engine, you just fixed. So that's, that's nothing you want to do. So I find re it being a real heavy alkaline uh, is actually good. And another thing too, they support the uh, motorized bike community. I mean, not count. Super Clean is just a good product. So now I'm looking in here for aluminum particles. I'm finding some. But you'll see this stuff floating on the top. And what that is, that's the Super Clean attacking the tiny aluminum particles and dissolving them. This is a good thing. Now if you just spray it on your cases or something like that, now that's not recommended for polished aluminum. But uh, we're going to shake it up and we're going to pour it out again. Uh, you're just spraying it on your cases and what have you, it will clean them off really good. But like I said, it's not recommended for uh, polished aluminum because it, it will probably tarnish it. Or maybe whatever. But it's for the cases and what have you and, and any steel pipe or anything like that, it's good to go. So we're going to look in here with a light and see what we see. And all this stuff you see floating up there is little tiny, tiny particles of aluminum that are actually floating due to the uh, super clean reacting with them which is a good thing because when we do the crank if there's anything embedded in them and like I said I clean this pan out every time I wipe it down every time so we're gonna start hosing this down and uh, we get a surprising amount out of the crank. I've got a, a lot, and cranks are not expensive, and you never would reuse one in a situation like this. But I have so much time in it, balancing and, and truing and what have you. You know, I hate to just give it up. So we're going to try to get anything that's in there out there, if there's anything in there and clean everything up really good and it does do a very well it does do a very good job I'm gonna go at it with the old toothbrush there and I really was surprised that the amount of stuff came out of there as you'll see here in a little bit it's quite a bit and yeah, and then you got them floating on top again, which you can see them down there in the pan. It's pretty, pretty good sized chunks. And I'm going, okay, cool. It, it did rinse it right on out of there. So, but yeah, I'm pretty happy with that so far.
What is this as far as the test goes? We are actually going to reuse this crank because it was catastrophic. It, it happened immediately. And uh, I didn't ride it with a big dose of aluminum down there because after the whole blew in the piston, that was it. It was, it was down and out. I had a uh, pedal home of shame. <sighs> but there's no grittiness in it. It spins very smooth and everything. I feel as though that we've got it all out of there. So yeah, you'll be able to see the foaming of those reacting with the small particles of aluminum. So yeah, there was some there was some in there, there was no doubt. <laughs> I was like shocked. But uh it's not in there anymore. It's nice and clean. Rinsed it off with some really hot water and then blew it out with air. And now I'm going to put some oil in it and we're pretty much good to go. The only thing we got left to do now is the cases. We're going to get them cleaned up and uh, we're going to be on our way to rebuilding this engine and making it a little faster than it was. So thanks to Super Clean and we're going to have a giveaway here in just a few minutes. So, uh, Y'all stay tuned. Don't don't go anywhere because they're nice enough to give you all a set too. All right.